Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your truly, though, Trigger Trey here. Uh, playing some more of that Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. So, uh, sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Let's do this. Soviet airspace, arriving at the designated drone launch point. Drone oil pressure and voltage are nominal. Payload oxygen supply is nominal. Power supply to payload anti-free systems shows no problems. No gusts. All systems go for drone detachment. Snake, we can't risk a halo jump this time around. Airspace security has gotten tighter since we were last here. We can't get as close to the ground as we did during the virtual session. I just want to let y'all know I am here. I so just instead, you'll be using cam, one of our uh, newest uh, weapons. Off. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. This is our last chance. Show your patriotism. If you fail, you'll be back in a hospital bed again, waiting for the firing squad. So how does it feel to be a patient in one of the most advanced ICUs in the world? Would you do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours? I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. Must be part of the top brass's inquiry. More like an interrogation. According to them, I'm a traitor and an accomplice to the boss's defection. They're just looking for a scapegoat. Does that mean they're after you too? Hmm. Let's just say neither one of us is going to be made a national hero out of this. Does this mean Fox is going to die? No. This fox is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today, Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? The situation has changed. We've still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuba. This morning, I had a meeting with the CIA. They decided when they're going to execute us? No. Something even bigger. Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, OKB-754, was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Does any of this sound familiar to you? In Retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. With the help of your predecessor, I was able to survive the Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. If I am to survive this crisis, I must have your full cooperation. I should have contacted you myself. Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard that? The man who arranged the defection was a Gru colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin? of the Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. She's a living legend. During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that war. In Russia, you know her as Voyevoda. You mean the boss? The mother of your special forces? Yes, that's the one. And she took two miniature nuclear shells along with her. 
the boss took two miniature nuclear shells. I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new hosts. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. But serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass-produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. So, the boss, with Colonel Volgen's help, stole two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? Yes, that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a US military aircraft doing on our radar screen? It was clearly in a violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I don't know what else to tell you. The army insists that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe you. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. Then, you must find some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes, preferably something painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. The boss should be close to Colonel Volgen. How about a little co-action? I would not expect too much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. And Colonel Volgen is a member of the Brezhnev faction, which seeks to topple my government. One week. You have only one week, and if it is not too much to ask, do something about Volgen as well. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. It means green light as it means ass. nothing. Call it a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued relationship. What if we can't prove our innocence? Then I will be unable to restrain the military. I will be ousted, and they will seek their revenge. A nuclear attack on the United States? I leave the disposal of this situation entirely to your discretion, Mr. President. Disposal, huh? If you fail, it will mean the beginning of a new world war. To put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice. Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice. Are the Russians going to be helping us? The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. That's it? They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. Insiders? There was a defection in September 1960. Do you remember it? You mean the two NSA code breakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, They've apparently been training with the KGB for exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. I've been told that Adam has infiltrated Volgen's ranks. We've also arranged for him to provide you with an escape route. You'll need to rendezvous with him when you get there. Control, 
Unidentified aircraft detected, altitude 30,000 feet. It's fast. Estimated airspeed exceeding Mach 3. Bearing south. I'm about to lose it. That's not a good time to be in the doggy style position, my guy. <laughs> this is Snake. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. I got blown pretty far off target. Snake, let's go over your mission objectives one more time. Rescue Sokolov. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod, then destroy it. And finally, eliminate the boss. Eliminate the boss? Yeah, seems pretty This legit. mission will be codenamed Operation Snake Eater. Because I'll be taking on the boss in our Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volkin. I'm not a hired killer. I know, but that was the Kremlin's demand. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What now? I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. What do you mean? Well, the truth is, when I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. The wrong one? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came out last year. I oh, must have missed that one. Anyway, it's based on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan, but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry, and Tom. I get it. You used the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yes, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But? But I got the name wrong. The one they escaped in was Harry. Tom was one of the unlucky tunnels. It was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. Well, this is gonna I watched the movie again <laughs> just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call you? Hmm. You know, let's just use Zero, like we've been doing all along. All right, then. Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency is 140.85. Oh, I almost forgot. Paramedic is with us again on this mission. Is this her last chance to... If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. Her frequency is the same as during the Virtuous mission, 145.73. She'll be recording your mission data as well, just like the last time. That frequency is also the same, 140.96. And there's one more person on your support team. His name is Mr. Sigint. He's an expert on the latest in weapons and equipment technology. You'll be going up against some of the world's most advanced weaponry when you infiltrate the research facility. If you have any questions, just ask him. His frequency is 148.41. Mr. Sigint, got it. Adam, your KGB contact, is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. 
the same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. Yes, meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area's been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. No one else would dare come close. The password is, who are the Patriots? And Lali Lule Lo. Lali Lule Lo. Gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on-site weapons acquisition. The circumstances are different this time. You're now on an official mission for the United States government. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent, to the Khrushchev regime at the very least. But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Snake, if you fail this mission, it will mean an all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. Understood. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. Okay, first I was going to say sorry about the uh, setup. I uh, was rearranging my room, so no green screen today. Uh, let me go into my backpack real quick and see what I have before I advance. Okay, survival knife, M1911, stun grenade, direction of mic. Okay. Looks like I have everything I need. I don't have a stun weapon at the moment. I got stun grenades. Okay, let's check my camouflage. We're gonna put on... Let's go with Woodland. And... Black Tarn. Oh. Oh, I thought I had some more stuff. Okay, let's go. Do, 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 do. Okay, I hear a horse. Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. The boss. I wouldn't say the man of the hour, but boss. the woman of the hour. That arm still hurt? What are you doing here? are waiting up ahead you don't have a prayer of finishing your mission you're not even armed boss that should have hurt I'm not your boss anymore there's nothing for you here. Go home. Go back to your boss. The Patriot. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't America.
Someone definitely heard that. Up a bit. You'd better hurry. The sorrow. The border is 60 miles south of here. You ought to be able to run that far. Why'd you defect? I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later, you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. Now, go home. This is Snake, Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are gonna come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's gotta be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians. That she'd double-cross us like this. But that's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. Do we know this? Okay, we should probably find somewhere to hide. I know someone's gonna come eventually. <gasps> What's uh -oh. this? HQ, HQ. This is HQ. Do I even have the right, uh... We have evidence of an enemy intruder. Commence alert formation. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. Okay, I'll see if we can get by them. That'd be real stuff like. Let's go on this grass. Bit of a jump scare almost. I just got bit by a fucking snake, I believe. The fuck is on my head? Okay, cure. Venom poisoning. Uh, let's see what medicine I have. What, serum work? Okay.
Here we go. That should be good now. There we go. Okay, there's one right there. Okay, there's two, so I gotta wait for at least one of them to walk back. Oh, there's three of them, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try my best and uh, get like zero kills. I don't know if the animals count because you gotta eat them to survive, but no kills on enemies, no kills on bosses, all camos. HQ, please respond. This is HQ. Patrol here. The situation is normal. Understood. Return to your position. No, get down. Let's wait for him to come back, because I gotta cross that bridge. Come on, buddy, turn around. I don't want to get up just yet. Huh? There we go. Go to sleep, buddy. Let's see what you got on you. I think you're gonna do this like twice. Stun grenade and a grenade. Okay, let's go across the bridge, stay in the middle. There was two over here, so let me be careful. Okay, there's one right there. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Let's see what you got on you. Chaff grenade. And a regular grenade. Okay, uh, let's go down here. I think this is like one of the camos or uniforms. Uniform, let's check it out. Uh, camouflage, uniform. Raindrop. Okay, not looking too bad. I think I'm gonna switch this up to Fleck Train. And let's see if my face can do a... Yeah, we'll go a green face. Okay. Slowly get back up here. Okay, I thought I could pick those up. Alrighty. I don't think there's any enemies here at the moment. I know there's like a little ambush phase that happens later on, so I can do some exploring. Do do do. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's go up the stairs. Was not trying to fucking do that. No, we're not putting our backs to things. AK-47. I'm trying to go with no kills, but I'll take it. Okay, got the AK. What else we got around here? Ooh. How do you get up there? Okay, it's the Y button. Was not trying to do that. Come on, get up. Okay, this is starting to piss me off now. Come on, get up there. 
Still a cardboard box. Nope, these lockers. Nope, this ain't Metal Gear Solid 2. Mind detector. Yeah. Uh, let's go exploring around a little bit out here. Oh, this game has like these little frogs and shit you can shoot to like collect. It's like a collector's thing, but I'm not getting them. Bug juice. Ooh, face zombie. Let's see what that looks like. It's been a while. Camouflage face. Yeah. There we go. I'm looking like ghost from COD. Let's keep that green face I had going. Or don't want to go with the brown. No, I'm going to go with the green face. Brown looks like I got shit on. Or if I got done eating someone's ass. Okay, let's go back up here. This is thermal. Yeah, that's definitely gonna come in handy later. Anything else in here I can take? Cutscene. Oh shit! That's some bright ass light. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, I know Cut who that the is. They'll hear us. Are you the agent they sent? Are you Adam? I thought you were supposed to be a man. Adam couldn't make it. All right, say the password. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? Answer me! Uh-oh. Show me a little song. Yeah. The name's Eva. Definitely with motorboat those. Hmm. That's how I feel. Just fire up a blunt. This wasn't part of the plan. What happened to Adam? What's your code name? It's Snake. Snake, huh? Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? What happened to Adam? Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. And you were? Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. Hmm, I wonder what that is. I heard you used to be a codebreaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. Mauser military. The broom handle. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. It's well, imitation, isn't it? Lady. Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Around that's a nice here, even that's hard to come by. 
Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American-made. Forty-five, huh? Hmm. Incredible. Do you like it? The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced, and the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original, too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non-slip grooves. A ring hammer? The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. Ooh, snake got his and not only that, nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. Where'd you get something like this? I grabbed it from a Western Munitions Armory. It probably used to belong to one of your officers, and there are more where that came from. You had this with you, didn't you? Better take this too. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Yes. You're here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe, then? Yes. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohat. Where? At the lab. They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. I'm a snake. I can sneak in regardless. Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? Tell me how to get to the lab. The safest way in is from the rear. Yeah, that's how you avoid pregnancies. <laughs> First, you'll need to head north through the jungle. You'll come to a heliport used for shipping materials. Pass the heliport and continue north and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. Make your way through the warehouse and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. And just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. Cool. But I'm not trying to get any kills. Right, let's get going. Wait a minute. What now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. You'll never make it in your condition. It's a jungle out there. Oh, I can see that. There's still an hour before dawn. It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect something. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it? My orders are to provide you with information. Nothing more. Hmm. You look disappointed. All right, then. I'll do something special for you. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. Gonna get that? She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. 
When you're tired or hurt, the best thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and take a nap. Doctor's orders, okay? Yeah, okay. Alrighty, data save. I think she up to something. Oh, wow. Go ahead, open your eyes. Uh oh, we got company. Wouldn't surprise me if she called What's me. the matter? We're surrounded. I see four of them. Ocelot unit. We've got company. It's the Ocelot unit. Yeah, I'm Let's perverted, get out of I know. Here. Hurry. Don't forget your gear. Here, give me a hand. It really takes two people to move a fucking bed for me. We can use this to get to the basement. How she knew I was there is beyond me. Damn it! I saw a lot. I'll get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll keep them busy. Huh? Whoa. Don't go dying on me now. Good thing the roles weren't reversed. Uh, this is cancelable uh, offense in 2024. <laughs> MK22 back. Where's he hiding? How do you open this? Where did he go? There we go. I think the other four are outside. Surely, see if we can spot him. There's one. Take one in the dick. Let's get a sonar going. By motion. I 
I should be good here. I don't think he can see me. I know he's on that roof. He didn't come down. Guess we'll go to him. What the heck? He knocked himself out. Damn, homeboy slumped over. Let's see if I can grab him. Let's see what he got. AK-47 bullets full. It's crazy how old boy just knocked himself out. Got the bandage. Okay, one left. Where is he? He might be on the other side. Uh, I do have thermals, right? Let's go to the backpack. Item. Okay, I got too much. Uh, We'll get rid of binoculars and put on a thermal. Okay, that's just one left and I ain't worried about it. Let's see what old boy right here got. Play more in a SP MK22. We got some medicine and what else? Noodles and a sip thing. Okay. Let's go check on those other guys. See what they got. Suck your kit. Suck your kit. Hard to say that. Battery. stuff. Battery, and that's full. Damn, this dude is just slumped over. <laughs> so you got a ration. Dude, this last dude is there. on the other side of the building. Yep, he is. Let us sleep, let us sleep. There we go. That's all of them. Let's see what you got. A ration and... C mid, okay. Oh, it's like this gate's locked, so I'm not getting out of this way. Let me change my camo up a little bit. Camouflage, face. I'm gonna rock that zombie. Hmm, nice. Well, let's get that. Hmm, that looks kind of weird. What does an uh, OS cam look like? Not bad. Hopefully I'm not naked naked. Oh. <laughs> uh, I guess I can rock with that. But like John Rambo. Okay, I think a cutscene or something supposed to be triggering soon. Yeah, I wasn't trying to get that alert, but... Oh shit, there's the cutscene. I've been waiting for this moment.
That's it. That's the stance. I don't think so. What you doing there? A female spy? Man, you, that's a cancelable offense, Ocelot. <laughs> this bitch is wearing perfume. Damn. Homie said this bitch. Stay where you are. I've had enough of your judo. I see you've got yourself a single action army. That's right. There'll be no accidents this time. You call that an accident? Well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun, I'll give you that. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. And you're forgetting one more very basic thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. Ooh, I'm fighting words. We'll see. only carries six shots. The Makarov carries eight. You have to get a feel for how many you have left. This is a high-class weapon. It's not meant for shooting people. This isn't over yet. Don't. Why? He's still young. And an idiot. You'll regret stopping me. Damn it! I've got to get back before he does. Get on out of here. That way, Ocelot, well, I don't think that is the proper way to go. Yep, it's this way. Head on out. Okay, let's try not to die this time. Doo -doo -doo, got a couple snakes. I'm actually going to ignore him. I'm going to make sure these crocodiles are out of my way. Yeah, you swim your ass that way. You stay over there. You stay up there. I'm going to run out of stamina, so i got to make this quick. Almost there. There we go. Let me check something real quick. Got a fucking leech on me, so let's get the old cigar. Okay. Doo -doo. Let's climb this tree right here. Let's get these items over there. Try not to fall on the crocodile this time. <laughs> there we go. My 
stamina is going to run out. But I think I got it. I'll take that. I'm going to keep this. Oh, okay, it's an item I remember. Uh, uniform. I'm going to go... Leaf. Let's go into the backpack. Yep, crocodile cap. There we go. Let's see what we're gonna unequip. Motion active. Let's get I'm gonna get rid of the sonar. We're gonna get the crocodile cap. There we go. Looking lovely. Let's get that uh, thermal back before I jump in this water. Stay over there, Mr. Alligator. I don't like that sound. Okay, I am definitely jumping over this this time. <clears throat> That's how I died. I was low on hope and I got smacked. Okay, definitely gonna save here. Wrong button. Save. Saving the game, Snake? Yep. No, hit yes. Save successful. Snake, have you heard of It Came From Outer Space? Something yeah, you reference. told me already. So this astronomer sees a meteor, but it's really an alien spaceship, right? And the aliens start replacing the townspeople with clones and forcing them to help repair the ship. The 3D effects were quite realistic. I've got all the real I can handle here in the jungle. No, you don't get it. Precisely because it's realistic, with the images jumping out of the screen at you, it makes for a nice escape from reality. I have to admit it made my eyes tired, but it was really intense. Unfortunately, they don't make very many of those movies anymore. When did it come out? I was still in college, so probably about 10 years ago. Guess I'm out of luck then. You know, they're coming out with household versions of video cassette recorders. One day you'll be able to see old movies anytime you want. It'll be like having a movie theater in your own home. Really? It's like if you had a record with movie film etched onto it instead of music. It'll work the same way. You're kidding. No, really. And someday they might make movies where you control the characters yourself. Sounds like magic. Oh, life was peaceful It'll back happen. Then. Make sure you stay alive to see it, Snake. Okay, I do believe there are enemies here, so let me go ahead and quit the... Make sure... Okay, that's not the non-lethal. This is the non-lethal. Do do do. Is that a dog? Yep. Forgot this game had them. Do 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 and see back. Bye bye, Sparky. Is that my stomach? Let's get some food going. Uh, do I want the Russian Russian or the instant noodles? Let's get the instant noodles. Mmm, delicious. There we go. Okay, claymores. All right. I did hear somebody say something, so there's gotta be somebody in this area. Okay, we got a little hole in the fence right here. Oh, someone's coming. Bro, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay.
forgive me if I feel off while I'm gaming. I've been going through some depression lately, so I try to get a video out for y'all. Oh shit, that dog's back away. Need you to stay asleep, motherfucker. Nothing in there. Let's go around. There's another camera around here somewhere. I want that dog to stay asleep. Okay. Get up here. Get up there. See if we can fit through here. There we go. Yeah, sometimes I'm not in the right state of mind, uh It affects my gaming. Like right now, I'm not focused, but uh, let's go back over there. And I saw there were some enemies back there. Okay, hug the wall, hug the wall, hug the wall, hug the wall. Should be good here. Uniform splitter. Let's check that out. Backpack. No, not backpack. Uh, camouflage. Uniform splitter. Nice. Uh, let me change it up. Let's get Desert Tiger. Kind of blends in with our map. Okay, let's see if I can drop these people with one shot. That's one. That's two. Don't see anything. Let's see what they got. I was not trying to do that. Was he did? I think he did. I wasn't trying to get no kills in this game. He definitely doesn't have anything. Let's get you away from that fence. Stun grenade. And I just get electrocuted. I see my stamina is depleting again. Uh, not backpack. Uh, food. Let's get a Russian ration. Disgusting. Yeah, I bet it tastes like ass. Do do do. Uniform choco chip. Let's take that. Let's check it out. Uniform. Yep. Oh shit, that's another enemy over there. Let's drop his ass. And there we go. Let's see what you got, homeboy. Oh, yeah. Since you came from that way, let's see what's over here. Okay. Actually, let's go the other way. Hopefully they're still sleeping. Yep. Got my weapon equipped. Oh 
Porsche Pass base. All right, we got an enemy right there. Let's see if I can drop his ass. And I gotta be careful with my silencer. Okay, he's out. There's one way down there. Let's knock him out. Hopefully I hit him in his arm. I can't tell if I miss. Let's see if it'll knock him out. It's just my imagination. I think I missed him. Huh? That one oh. definitely got him. Doo -doo -doo. I should probably eat something. Russian ration. Not a bit. There we go. Put his ass to sleep. Oh, shit. Hopefully he goes to sleep, because one more shot, my silence is going to break. It's just my imagination. Okay, I'll take those. Let's go over here and see what this dude has. Look at my thermal. Let's shake them all down, see what they all got. Yep, that'll work. Do -do -do. I think there's one here. Face no. Come on, get under there. See what he has. How am I hungry already? I just ate. I don't. I don't think I have anything. No, I don't. Nothing in cage. Uh, let's check out the camouflage. I got that snow and that uniform. Oh, I got the uniforms on top of the uh, house up here. There we go. Camouflage uniform. Here we go. What was I working with? The uh the flex trim? Okay, there's one enemy right there. He's by himself. No aim because of my stamina. That's the end of my silencer. Hopefully he goes to sleep. Just my imagination. Is he going to sleep? Yep, he went to sleep. I gotta find something new. See what we got in here. See what this is. Oh, I got a trophy. Prince Charming. Okay, got it. Mousetrap. M2 bullet. Going here. You got any food? Better ration. Uh, backpack, food. 
There we go. We're gonna get the calorie, mate. That's damn good. Mm-hmm. Is there anything under? Looks like there is. Stun grenades. Let's see what this old boy got. Oh, there's something under here. Let me get that real quick. MK22 bullets. All right, let's run home, boys' pockets. Grenade full, of course. Another ration. Let's check this house. D mid, L mid, antidote, and a bandage. Okay. I believe we got ourselves a little boss fight up ahead, so. Oh, I'm gonna put this on for it. Yep, the man of the hour, Ocelot. Ah, you're here at last. Looks like the boss's info was right. Oh, we packing the new gun. Two of them, I see. Twice now you've made me taste bitter defeat. I still think that ball is hella gay. Disappoint the Cobras, but you're mine now. Am I? All of you, leave us. So you want to shoot the one on one? It's just you and me. Looks that no way. To get in our way. Ocelots are proud creatures. They prefer to hunt alone. Shot himself in the dick or something. This time I've got twelve shots. Let's do this. Okay. Draw. Oh, ready, already, already. Let me get a stun grenade. Is this much, right? Grenade! Where you at? Damn! Come on, Ocelot. I need you that tree. <laughs> Bitch! Oh. Let's get another stun grenade out there.
Homie just reloading out in the open. That's stupid. Reload time is exhilarating. Okay. Where you at? Bitch. Woo, got your ass. Damn it. He found us. Meet again. Looking forward to it. <laughs> All righty, it's the Trigger Trey here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, the next video is gonna be relatively short because in this cave there is literally a boss fight, like within five minutes. So. Uh, be on the lookout for that but uh, if you enjoyed the view please thumbs up comment share subscribe and uh i'll be seeing you in the future on some more epic gaming adventures peace yeah.